telomeres are another highly conserved sequence in eukaryotic chromosomes. And they exist for a different reason than the centromere. The telomere is a repeated sequence of TTAAGG. This is conserved throughout species and throughout the evolutionary tree. And you won't be responsible for knowing this sequence, but realize that there's simply a sequence that repeats itself 500 to 3,000 times at each end of a eukaryotic chromosome. And the reason that telomeres exist is because they help solve what is known as the end replication problem caused by the primer. Remember that in DNA replication, first you need to lay down an RNA primer before the DNA polymerase can attach. And remember the general motif for, for DNA is that it reads up and it writes down. And so it will read from the three end to the five end of the parent strand. That's read up. And what will happen is you'll lay down some primer here, a certain number of bases, and then the polymerase will come in and it will replicate the rest of it with DNA. Also realize that write down means that when it writes, it writes from the five prime end to the three prime end of the new strand. So it reads up, it reads from three to five of the parent strand, and it writes down from the five to three end in the new strand that it's producing. This will happen also on the other other complementary strand here. So let's just say we have another, how many did we have there? Six. We'll say that we lay down a primer of six bases. The number isn't all that important. And we have the five prime end and we'll write this down as well. The squiggly line here represents the DNA being laid down by the polymerase. But remember, this primer itself isn't replicated. And so what will happen is eventually that will just disappear and you'll end up with a slightly shorter sequence on either end of this. And so this is what is known as a three prime overhang because notice that when we have these two strands here, the three prime end of the parent strand hangs over the five prime end of the daughter strand. And we can continue this all the way to the end and everything will match up perfectly except that there will be an overhang of the three prime end over here and there will be an overhang of the three prime end over there. And what this means is that every replication cycle, every time that you replicate a DNA sequence or replicate a chromosome, you're going to lose a little bit of material each time. And so this is something that initially won't be too much of a problem, but as you continue to do this, the primer will take off larger and larger chunks. The more sequences, the more stuff that will not be transcribed due to the fact that you needed to lay down a primer. And this is a problem because eventually after enough cycles, you'll end up having much shorter chains of DNA. And telomeres are an evolutionary feature that developed to solve this problem. These are not important for the coding of the proteins. These are not something that are translated, but what they are is they're additional units that serve purely as a place where you can set up a primer and lose a bit of material, but not lose any of the important genes, which may be down here in this sequence. So this could all be telomeres down here that would allow us to go through multiple replication cycles and not lose any of the important genetic information. So that's the purpose of telomeres. They're highly conserved and they repeat like this. And so that means that you have a lot of chances to replicate without losing the important genes. Eventually, and some people have tied this to the aging process and things like that, eventually you will have used up all of the telomeres and then that will create a limit on what happens and you might end up losing some of the pertinent genetic information. However, there is a possible solution for this as well. And that is that there's an enzyme known as telomerase that can help fix that. That essentially is a reverse transcriptase. You probably don't need to know that classification. But what you should know is that telomerase is something that utilizes this three prime overhang and actually can produce some additional 
telomeres here. So essentially it can produce more telomeres and thus lengthen the lifespan of this DNA because by getting more telomeres that means you can do more replication cycles and that will allow you then to have a lot more replication and lengthen the life of the cell. Now if telomerase shows up on a question, there's a good chance that it will be explained in a passage because you're not required to explicitly know many details about this. But you should be aware of this thing existing that can help solve the end replication problem even further. Remember that the first thing that solves it is just by having telomeres. That allows you extra sort of wiggle room where you can lay down primers, lose the material that will not be replicated because of that primer, and still have all the genetic information. So telomeres allow for that. They're the first thing that solves that problem. Telomerase is just another way to do that. But with telomeres, remember, highly conserved. It exists on both ends of the DNA sequence in this chromosome. Uh, you can notice the word tello. That uh, often means end as a prefix. Uh, telophase of mitosis is the last phase of that. It's the end phase. And similarly, telomeres are chromosomal material that show up at the end of the chromosomes. But recognize the most important thing, and that, that is that it gives you sort of a buffer zone or some wiggle room where you can lay down those primers, begin the process of replication, lose the material that the primers themselves were covering up, and still have all of the relevant genetic information conserved.